In patch 1.13, Polarium ended up buffing the clan boss, where after the boss's 50th turn, then the boss will start ignoring unkillable and block damage buffs, which drop the overall damage of the team comps built around these two buffs. But guess what? There's a new comp, the Phoenix comp. So prior to 1.13, I was reading on Facebook and came upon a post about building a Phoenix comp. I was pretty intrigued by it, so I started building the comp out and testing it. Now, what's the Phoenix comp? Phoenix comp is built around the Revive on Death buff. It's not really an unkillable team, but more like an undead team. Here's how the comp works. You need enough champions on your team where you can keep putting up a Revive on Death buff on your entire team every turn. So whenever the clan boss knocks one of the champions down, then that champion will automatically be revived. And then when the turn comes back to your team, then your team puts up the Revive on Death buff again and again, and it becomes an ongoing cycle. There are four champions in Raid Shadow Legends that gives this buff to the entire party. The four champions are Crimson Hill, Light Swarm, Sky Touch Shaman, and Shamrock. For Crimson Hill, Light Swarm, and Sky Touch Shaman, you can get their Revive on Death buff down to a four turn cooldown. For Shamrock, he can get down to a three turn cooldown. For my comp, I am running three Crimson Hill, one Light Swarm, and a Poisoner. For my speed, I am running my speed between 174 to 180. Two of my Crimson Hill plus Light Swarm has a speed of 176. My other Crimson Hill has a speed of 174. And my Poisoner has a speed of 180. For my gears, I am using Toxic Set on all my champions beside Light Swarm. I have Lifestyle and Life Swarm, and that's because I'm using him in other contents of the game. Now, when this comp works, you'll see quite some amazing numbers and damages coming out of it. Here are some screenshots of both Nightmare and Ultra Nightmare runs that I tested in the past. So there are problems with this comp currently, and that's consistency. Sometimes the rotation will be bugged out and not work. And this happens when the clan boss uses his stun attack onto a champion with the skill Revive on Death. So when that happens, that champion becomes stunned and his cooldown doesn't drop. Then it ends up messing up the entire cycle. There is the new champion, Sky Touch Shaman, which makes this comp pretty interesting because in her kit, it also comes with a block debuff. However, in my case, I did use her for the Rotos Fusion and I don't have a second one to test that out with the comp. So one thing I do to get around the clan bosses stun is to run the comp only against non-void affinities. This way, I'll use a weakness affinity poisoner, and the main objective of the poisoner is to not just put up the poison, but to basically take the stun. Because that's the case, I do put my poisoner in the lead and also with low HP. And don't worry about the poisoner taking the stun hit. The poisoner will have plenty of chances of putting up more poisons and dealing damage. So this comp takes quite a bit of time to manual. When you're running the comp against the clan boss, you really want to keep your team squishy. The reason for this is because the sooner the clan boss can start killing your champions in one hit, then the sooner you can go on to auto. You want this because the thing about revive on death buff is that champions with this skills, they won't use it unless this buff has dropped off of someone or another champion on your team. Which basically means that you need a champion on your team to die every turn because when they get revived, they will be revived with no buffs on them. And you want that to happen so that you can go on auto faster. Alright, so in this video clip that I'm showing here, I did not go on to auto until 6 minutes into the clan boss battle. And before I forget, please go ahead and like the video and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any uh, feedback for me, please let me know in the comments below. So a minute after I go on auto, I am skipping to the end of the clan boss fight. I'm not going to have you sit and watch the entire 30 minutes. Now, do I think the comp is worth building? Personally, it really depends on what you want. This comp takes quite some time to manual, and if you're looking for a full auto team, then this is not the comp for you. Also, the thing is that I'm using Crimson Helm, 
and I don't really use her in any other content in Raid Shadow Legends. And when you're booking these skills, sometimes it doesn't always land on that Revive on Death skills. And if that does happen to your Crimson Hill, then it does take her a lot of books. Well, this comp is actually quite fun to build, but with the clan hopping limitations now, then I just don't think the comp is worth building. Because if you decide to build out a regular team, then those champions on that regular team can sometimes be used outside of the clan boss. And let's say if you're building this specific comp, then these champions are basically built for the clan boss only. Alright, and this is all I have for today. And let me know in the comments below on what you think of this comp or if you have any questions. I'll get back to it as soon as I can and I thank you very much. Have a nice day.